Well, this is not exactly what I had in mind for the first ride of 2014, but uh, it's going to have to do, I'm afraid. I told Paul I was going to come out here and play a little bit, so let's see if we can even get around. I'll put some tie straps on the rear tire just to give me a chance. I'll just kind of leave it in low gear and maybe just uh, cruise around a bit. Yeah, and I think Paul was right. We may need a windshield wiper up here. Still can see pretty well. And I think probably if I could photograph the neighbors peeping out of the windows, I'd probably find a few people. Wonder what in the world is that old man Miller doing out there on that track? Well, he's riding. We'll get over this little crest in the hill now. Maybe switch to, to the middle ring up front. idea what that noise is of the snow packed on the wheel back here. Sound like a fender rub. Snow pack. shifting today. Everything's, everything's frozen up. About to come up on the first little incline. See how it does. Tie straps I've got back here are little tiny ones. Yeah, I put my glasses on. The windshield helps a little bit, but the snow is so light and fluffy it comes right around it. So, let the glasses fog up a little bit. Pretty out, not much traffic. Good. Well, the roadways. Kind of clear. A little mushy out there. Look by the splash around here, they've been scraping it. I can drift an automobile, I don't know if I can drift this track. Maybe I can. When I was a kid, a little town outside of Beach, uh, well, Beach Grove, Indiana, we used to block some of the streets off so us kids could play. That's what you did when it snowed. You played. A liability for a city to block off a street for kids to play. You just, uh, too much. We let the kids grow up without having played. They screw up and we wonder what's wrong with them.
every kid should be out here right now playing. I haven't seen any kids out here playing. Except me. Well, here we go. Let's see if we can... This is going to have to be a one-handed drift, so... We are... Try that again. Well, here's a hill I may have to abort. Let's see. I think uh, here is some snow, see if that helps. Not really. I'm going to roll down here in the ditch here in a minute. If I could have filmed that, I just put my feet down and, <laughs> and push the sides, push the front, push the front around. I'm here. All right, we're getting ready to go back down this little bitty hill. Actually, at the bottom of the bigger hill. We couldn't climb it. Here we go. Not enough speed. Seems to be pretty nice and balanced though. In high school for our drivers training, we used to have to drive around on the ice. And yeah, not everybody stayed on the road. But it was a good education. You really learn what, uh, what that big piece of equipment you're steering around the roads will do. Of what it won't do. Well, that's probably enough for today. If I had my riding buddy Paul here, I probably wouldn't quit so early. But he's home in a cushy little room, staying warm. Wondering who all those people are on Recumbent Trikes Group Facebook. Well, it's like anything else on on a trike. It's it's a whole lot more fun when you got the people with you. I mean, the novelty of this is is, is cool. You can't go as many places as you could on the dry pavement, of course. Anyway. Snow time. Little three tracking. <laughs> 